the purpose of balance here is uh, to educate ourselves with the nature of our mind. And it's a very important one because so many of us doesn't have have a clue about how mind how mind how our mind really works. And um, there are a few key concepts that's really important to to get to know in the beginning. And one of them, of course, is what is open intelligence. And a very simple way to introduce yourself to that is to just ask yourself what is looking when you're sitting here? What is looking through your eyes? <coughs> just to give that some attention because most of us are so focused on the content of our mind, all the thoughts and all the emotions and all the body sensations that we have. So very simply, it's a, it's, a, it's a training to just notice that about ourselves, that is totally stable, that never change, that is clear, cognizant, fully awake, always present, and another way to introduce yourself to open intelligence is just stop your thinking very briefly and see what happens. So that is really how simple it is to introduce yourself to open intelligence. So when I <coughs> personally came to, came to the training, I was so stuck in the belief that I have to change whatever I was experiencing in life that was may be painful. And that of course created a lot of tension in my mind. It created a lot of struggle with myself. And I wasn't aware of that because that was the only thing that I was learned and trained to do. And of course if you give all your attention to data that is what will grow in your life. You will have a life that is totally focused on struggling with yourself, trying to change yourself, seeing yourself as a renovation object maybe. And that is a really painful life, at least it was for me. <coughs> and I wasn't ever able to relax truly with uh, everything that I was going through in my life. I didn't know how to do that. So what I did in the beginning when I was listening to the instructions was to start with the short moments and to see, to be like a scientist and to see the impact it had in my life when I was not struggling so much with trying to change my experience. But instead, instead just letting it be as it was. And one thing that was really troubling me when I came to this training was fear and anxiety, panic attacks, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I also felt very alone in that. And I wasn't able to seek support because I thought that there was something really wrong with me. Because I couldn't handle my experience. I couldn't make myself feel better or being more happy or whatever. And I was trained for many years in psychology. So that made it even worse for me because I, I was really hard on myself saying to myself, I should be able to control the uncontrollable flow of data. <coughs> that is also one thing that we have, we have learned in life, that we can control our data, that we can control our thoughts and emotions. And it was such a relief for me to just see that I can't control it. There's no way I can control what I'm feeling or, or thinking. So that really, really was a great relief, just that simple step to see and to recognize if I just put that project down for a short moment and see what happens, to be like a scientist again, to see what happens if you don't emphasize or try to change the flow of data, just see what happens. Take money for example, so many of us are struggling with money. 
So say that there suddenly comes up a thought that I should have more money. What options do we have now? Basically two options, I would say. The first option, of course, is to create a long story about it. To start to think, why am I not having more money? Is it because I'm not successful enough? Is it because I'm not good enough? Is it, is it because I need to change my job? Is it because I'm not creative? So we start to worry and we create a long story about that. And that is mainly how we create so many of our experience and our data in life. We create story, we start to describe our experience. So what I started to see with, with <coughs> worry around money was that when I instead started to relax and don't jump on that train or when I didn't believe in the stories anymore and of course it was a very gradual process I just started to see that if I don't worry so much about money what happens I could see that I could find so much more beneficial solutions in that simple relaxation of of the flow of that data And that is basically how we treat all our, all our experience. We create stories and we describe it. And we torture ourselves because we have the thoughts and the data that comes up. <laughs> Before I came to the training, I was really collecting money. I was quite successful on that. I had a really good job and a very good salary. And I had my house with an indoor swimming pool. <laughs> I was really thinking that I had a good life, but the sense was that I never had enough. So I could so clearly see, and I had people around me that had a lot of money, but I could see that the amount of money wasn't the issue. It was just a symbol for an underlying sense of not being provided for. So what happened for me when I gained more access to open intelligence in a general sense, I could relax more and see that everything that I was longing for and wanting in life was actually found in open intelligence. So open intelligence is the ultimate solution and what we really long for deeply. So money is just something that many times is a smoke screen for underlying sense of not being provided for. So that was very powerful for me to apply that in every area of my life. And of course money is such a great deal for so many of us and very often we really connect it to having a good life and to see that we are trained in that way. We are trained to believe that everything that we need in life is found in money or relationships or prestige and having a good job or being someone. <clears throat> when in fact everything that we really long for deeply in our heart is to find <coughs> our true nature and being comfortable in your own skin. I also found that the Four Mainstays, the support system that we have in Balance to You, and if you are new to this training, I just want to briefly go, go through them. So, the simple practice that we offer here, and something that we comes back to again and again, is the simple practice of taking short moments. That's the main practice that we are offering here. It's an invitation to get to know yourself in a new way, to find that about yourself that doesn't go up and down all the time. It is, as I said before, totally stable and totally clear. So that's the way we use our effort in the beginning to just take short moments and to see the impact uh, in your life. And then we have the trainer, because it's impossible, I would say, to gain confidence in open intelligence by yourself. And it's not only Maybe impossible, it's also stupid. <laughs> I mean, that would be like trying to climb Mount Everest on your own. 
instead of having a good guide. So there are so many pitfalls on the way to gain confidence and open intelligence. And the impact of emphasizing data is so strong in us. So I would say that we really need a trainer. A person that only emphasizes open intelligence in you and to only see your potential. That is a very unique relationship. I mean, to be able to do that, you have to get, have gained that confidence in yourself because you can't give anything that you don't have yourself. And that is also something that I can see very clearly now when I'm working as a trainer compared to before when I was working as a therapist. I was always trying to fix people because I was fixing myself all the time. So the ultimate healing is always to introduce another person to their true nature as open intelligence. So that is basically what a trainer does. Help you to find yourself and to find your true nature. And to always empower you. Well, I would say for myself that is the most important relationship in my life. I thought I knew was lo what love was before, but I can see now I had no clue. <laughs> only have a person in your life that is always there for you, always supporting you, always seeing the best in you. That's true empowerment. And then of course we have the media, we have our powerful website where you can find all the teachings and talks. And the best, they are for free. You can just download them, you can just go into the website and you can find all the material that you need to support you to gain confidence. That's just amazing. And then we have all of you, the community. And we often hear that when people are coming to the balance to you, that the community is so powerful. Because in the community you see the practical results of the training. And for me, this was the first group of people that I, that I saw that could really work together in harmony without constant drama and conflicts. That was very powerful to see, just the, yeah, just the results of the training, to see people not emphasizing data, not blaming each other, taking full, responsi full responsibility for what was going on inside of them instead of blaming people around them. <coughs> Before I came to the training, I was working as a human resource manager, and I would, I would say that f maybe 50% of my time was, was consumed in trying to help people just to get along with each other, to, to work together without constant conflict. So the community is very important. It's also in the community that we practice many times together with other people that are very certain in relying on open intelligence. So it's like being with people who are very, st who are very stable. It's very powerful. I have three kids and I can see that with my kids, for example, that they are listening so, I mean, they are so much more interested in what I'm doing instead of what I'm saying. So the transmission power that we all have together when we just rest deeply with our data is so powerful. So I really recommend, recommend to be in the community as we all do here. It's so powerful. And to really allow ourselves to be supported by another another person or, or the trainer first of all and then even in the community. It was such a big struggle for me in the beginning as well. I couldn't really allow myself to be supported by other people. But to open up for that and to open up for see in a community where everyone is just supporting each other is such a new experience for many of us. And a very powerful one. 